Hello everyone, we got a different project again here for you today and um, actually this is one of my older videos or older projects. I, I probably did this like three, four months ago and uh, I had the video set aside and I decided to put it together for you guys. So this is a duo mount, a, um, a double great, great gray mount, great gray owl mount. So um, some people get double jackpot sometimes you know and they find two of them within the reasonable amount of time and they decide to put them on on the same place um, or same base or uh, scenery so anyway what I'm gonna do I'm going to go through the first I did both birds at the same time so we're gonna talk about the uh, the first and show you the first uh, mount a little bit slower speed and talk over it a little bit uh, more and the second bird we're gonna show the same step right after the first one but we're gonna zip through it and we won't waste time because it's the same thing it's the same uh, project same mount same bird so I just show you the process on the second bird quite fast so let's get it going as you can see um, carved the neck and glued it to the casted skull. The skull is already painted and now I'm going to attach or install the, the eyes. The eyes for great gray owls are yellow, um, basically yellow with black bands around it and um, it's 16 millimeter if you're wondering. 16 millimeter yellow eyes with or without black band it both works it's um it the, the owl has black eyelids so it doesn't really um create a problem if you have only yellow eyes and no black band around it so anyway um what i like to do i like to install the eyes while i have the skull in my hand instead of having it attached that's one of the reasons that i detach all my birds heads at least most of them if not all and uh, I can easily see what I'm doing and the skin is out of the way and that's what I'm doing here so basically um, there is different dimensions that you got to keep in mind uh, in, in f uh, um, most current videos that I have created but is not ready for uploading yet I have shown you different methods of installing the eyes properly and uh, which is pretty much the same principle that applies on on most birds you can do it on most birds and it helps you a lot so right now I am filling up the gaps that are uh, like they're there between the eyes and the um, skull I like to put some clay around it so it's gonna help later when we're pushing the skin into it to locking it in and um, yeah it's quite self-explanatory so this view of the video unfortunately it was not um, I didn't really think of it much you can see what I'm doing but not exactly uh, showing you all the details I have created better videos and you will see them in the near future. Yeah, so all I'm trying to do here is making sure both eyes are 100% symmetrical on the skull before I uh, attach them to the skin or glue the skin around it. They're pretty much done here and we're going to zip through the second owl skull and neck and I won't be talking much. It's quick. back step two is installing what we made 
which is basically neck and skull. We have to install it, install it back into the skin and glue it properly. So dab drying the skin a little bit so it's not too moist, moist and pushing the neck through the open, uh, uh, basically openings of the face and slowly bring the skin all around the skull till it comes to the front. When you're doing an owl, you will notice that um, there will be a ton of extra room or a ton of a slack around the skull. That's the nature of the work. Then uh, all we have to do is just um, deal with it, glue the skin around the skull uh, properly where they belong, which I like to start from top of the nose, one glue, one glue spot, and then under the lower mandible, if you call it chin, I'll glue there, and then I'll glue the corners of the mouth or the beak. So these four points are crucial to make sure that your skin is going on symmetric and properly. And then once I have those four points glued down, then we got all the areas in between those points to glue properly. So I pour some of my crazy glue on a little jar and I apply it with a pin because it doesn't take much. Now we're going for the second owl. Okay, step three is wiring the wings and the legs. You've seen it in my previous videos, but we're going to go through it a little bit one more time. We have blown out the marrow from the bigger bone of the middle of the wing. So we're pushing our wing wire right through that hole that we created for blowing the marrow out and using the electrical tape to tape it up nice and strong and uh, both wings are the same way. We have the option, depending on how you have carved your body, we have the option of wrapping some cotton batting around the, the first wing bone or just leave it as is. Uh, both of them works. Um, if you don't wrap anything, you're probably gonna end up using more caulking or silicone or anything that you're using to inject later on you probably end up using more but both of them works it's just you know you know two different methods now wiring the legs going right from behind behind of the ankle and right into the heel area and bend it and push it through the, to the bottom of the feet and uh, measure how long you need to have it out and tape up the rest So we'll continue the same way that I did this did on this leg. We'll continue on the second leg, which I'm not showing here because it's just repeating and lengthening the video. Now we're gonna go for owl number two very fast. Step four, installing the foam body back inside the bird. So we have already carved the bodies, pushed the neck wire right where it belongs. You have marked it before. And the end of the wire gets bent back into the body. Again, we have marked where our wing wires are going to be attached. Make sure you push the wires 
on the same spot on both sides so your wings are going to be symmetrical now we're going for the leg leave the thigh bone wire there and then push the wire exactly where you mark the body on doing the same thing on the other side I love working with these foams they're hard enough but if you sharpen your wire fairly good it'll go right through the foam piece of cake and it, these foams are rigid and they're very nice to work with very nice to work with so loosening up the skin around the whole body make sure that there's not a lot of tensions right now like I'm moving the legs to free up the excess of the skin so I can bring the skin back together for sewing and here is the fastest sewing job you can ever imagine before we move on to owl number two to do the same thing even faster Now step number five is blow drying. We're gonna go very quick because most of you know how to blow dry. I'm just gonna show you that uh, what we're using and how we're doing it here. And then um, you can follow up with the, the rest of it later. You can see how much of a breast feather it's, it seems like it's missing a lot of breast feather, but actually on this owl, but actually it's only the downs, down feather or the short feathers underneath the main breast feathers. By the time it all fluffs up, it covers it perfectly good. Okay guys, thank you very much. This was the part one and we will catch up with you very soon on the part two video.